The White House has ordered all Americans to stay home. But on Capitol Hill, it's still business as usual. The bill is passed. James Walner with the R Street Institute says technically Congress can't pass legislation remotely. The Constitution requires that both bodies maintain a quorum to do business, and if there's not a quorum, they technically have to adjourn. That means members must be present in the chamber to cast a vote unless they vote to change the rules. The Constitution gives the House and Senate the authority to set their rules of proceedings, so technically they can do whatever they want to do. I think it's time for us to turn to this. Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman introduced a resolution on Thursday to amend the standing rules of the Senate to allow senators to vote remotely during a national crisis. We have the ability to do it in a secure way, uh, an encrypted way, in a way that uh, would protect the fundamental right to vote. Portman says the CDC guidelines to stay home and practice social distancing should apply to everyone, including Congress. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says there are other options. We could lengthen the amount of the roll call vote. People could come over one at a time, uh, come over in small groups. We, we will deal with a social distancing issue without fundamentally changing the Senate rules. And House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer says while no decisions have been made to allow remote voting, he says House leadership is discussing all options. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.